Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, last time we had some save issues and some crashes, and I have gone all the way back to a save which I'm fairly... Like, I've ran through a couple of saves for a couple of years, and this is the only one that didn't crash. I was able to go 10 years past this point, no crashes, no even thoughts of crashes, speed 5, everything was fine. So, this is the one that we're going to stick with. Now... Uh, what does that mean for the custom courtiers? Because obviously, right now, we only have these guys who actually haven't... Oh no, I did set them a special interest. We only have these four. The original four who were in at the start of the series. Now, I suspect that having the extra custom courtiers didn't help, but probably wasn't the cause of the actual issue. It looks like the issue was a vanilla issue, and it was an issue with two different um, things, like um, two different events conflicting. Like, they all they had the same ID or something. And I couldn't actually find anything in the save file. But that's what it said. Like, other people who had the issue had that as their, like... People who know more than me said that was the problem. So, what we're going to do in order to try and stop any of these glitches from happening is we're going to add in two courtiers every um, episode. And that's the way we're going to do it from now on. This also means that we can kind of look at the courtiers in a little bit more detail if we need to. We can do all that sort of stuff. And it means that the series will kind of progress a little bit faster. So that's the problem. And though that's the solution that we're going with. Uh, if the game crashes, we can then revert back to the previous save. And then we know that what courtier in particular was the problem. They were all done the same way. So I don't know which one would, you know, be the actual problem. If, they, if any of them were the problem. Anyway, we're going to carry on from this point. So where are we? Well, we're back at the point where we have just had a son. He's only, like, we have literally just have a, had a son, in fact. We've just come back from raiding, and we have a couple of uh, event spawned raiders, and that's about it. Yeah, uh, Aegon is in his war. He's in his first war against Taran the Black, and that's kind of where we start. So, what are we going to do? Uh, well, does our son have the right thing selected as his child focus? Pride, I think, is the one we want for. Um, Yeah, pride. Yeah, so we'll keep on with that. And do we want to go and do some raiding? Or do we want to do some reaving? Do we have enough money for reaving? We do not have enough money to go reaving. So we should go raiding and then go reaving. So let's uh, raise up all of our personal levies. And then we'll raise up um, all of our fleet levies. Let's uh, merge these guys together. For some reason they're not merging. Do I have... No. Um, cannot merge. Oh, interesting. Why can't I merge these two groups? Okay. How about you both go on the boats? I just can't merge them? Oh, it's because one of them has toggle as looter permanently toggled. I see. Now I can merge. Yeah. Perfect. And where do we want to go? Um, where's currently at war? We know Aegon's at war. I don't actually want to siege his um, actual land. And the reason I don't want to siege his actual land is because I... I kind of think that might be an, an issue. I don't know if it was, but it might have been an issue. Uh, we're going to go siege... Um, I think we'll siege the Stormlanders. That seems reasonable. We'll head around there and siege some of them. Right. Let's head around into this bay. Oh yeah, and we also have this small feast. If you want to know exactly when we were. Your guests have arrived for the private feast you've arranged. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Perfect. Uh, Bench got accepted King Torrin of the uh, North's Peace Offer. So who's he? He's a peasant uh, leader, so peasant rebellion distended. People being released from other people's prisons here. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It helps bring you closer to your companions and you feel like good friends already. You're my best friend. Lady Arwen. Oh yeah, we should probably marry our uh, people off. So Saltford has his wife, uh, uh, James uh, Ironfoot. Ricaro, he can be married to... What, what was he looking for? What did, we decided something last time. I don't know. Uh, he's a bit of a hedonist. I, I have absolutely no idea what we're aiming for here. How about he marry... Just uh, go until we see something that looks... Well, we've got this lustful person as well. He's also lustful. That kind of works. Yeah, we'll go for her. Barbary. Perfect. He's happy about that. Next one, we'll go for Meredith. Who can she marry? Matrilineally. Um, Agor, Ricaro, Dale. These are the only options we have for her, so I guess she'll just kind of stay there. 
And then Igor can marry. Um, I don't know. What's he looking for? How about we uh, try and get that quick going in the line? We'll get too quick. Oh, that's Meredith. You know what? Er Meredith, Igor, marry. Enjoy. Done. There we go. Set everything up. Barbara arrived at your court. Uh, the reveling and crowding is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Yeah. We got a little bit of prestige for that. We're actually at positive prestige. It's fantastic. We'll just sneak in here. Stormlands don't appear to have any people around here. Uh, let's head into this province first, because we can see the surrounding provinces. So we can kind of sneak here. We can steal a little bit of money off of the off the top of this one. Yeah, and then we can just get back on the boats. There we are. That's why I didn't want to go on to, directly onto that province. They might have raised, uh, risen up troops on us. Uh, we can skim a little bit off the top here. Just uh, skim our money. Um, we almost already have it. Lord Alfson of Cider Hall has declared the Reachman Civil War to lower Crown Authority. Cool. Get back in the boat. And head round. Any of these? Ooh, this one's looking nice. Rainhouse. Let's go have a look at that. See if we can see around it. We can see a couple of provinces around it. Yeah, let's try stealing some of their money. Yep, we're on it. When we, the moment we see uh, anyone kind of come and face us, we'll run. King Torn of the North decided to execute Rick and Stark for Mort Callan. Okay. Well, we can, we're making a lot of money here. That's good. A lot, a lot of money. This past month, your captain of the fleet, Lord uh, James Ironfoot, has been organizing a reaving. A reaving he has announced... Uh, a reaving, he has announced, will journey to the Far East in Slaver's Bay. He and his fellow reavers are now ready and have set sail from Saltcliffe on their quest to follow the old ways. Do us proud. Yes, do us proud. Uh, almost got all the loot here. There we go. Got all the loot. We'll get back into the Cape of Rains. Um, Cheryl Crackle was executed by King Lauren of the Re of uh, the Rock. Oh, so that was his wife he is now uh, murdered. Interesting. That head a little bit further in here. Storm's End has quite a lot of loot that we could possibly grab. We can't see the provinces around it, but I think we're, fi we're fine to go into it. Aaron the Black accepted King Aegon of Westeros' peace offer. So he is not imprisoned currently, so that's interesting. And he usurped the King of the Iron Isles. Okay. He then declared Aegon's conquest of the Whispers and of Sharp Point. Things are going as they should in this uh, save file, which is better. Uh, we're going to cancel. Because we see this 12,000 there. We, we don't really want to go anywhere near that 12,000 stack. We can actually get all the money here. There's none protected by fort level. Perfect. Well, that's great. We can grab it all. Nine more of the great peasant, uh, desert peasant revolt has declared his peasant revolt. Cool. Oh, no. Actually, that I misread that. Looking at the little uh, arrow there. That's actually, it's all protected. I thought none of it was protected. It's all protected by a fort. That's, uh, that's just a pain. Right. Let's uh, head round here again, see if we can spot anything more. We're kind of just being vultures on them. As much as we can. Westlander Civil War to lower Crown Authority. Blackhaven? Yeah, it's a lot of money we could possibly grab. We'll, we'll jump into Blackhaven. See how much we can uh, get before we have to run. Hopefully not that much. If we see any enemies, we'll just uh, we'll get out of here sharpish. Getting all loot, getting all loot, getting all loot, getting all loot. Out of here. Right. Um, oh yeah, we're also a commander, aren't we? No, it says in command's no longer happening to us. Okay. I think we were a commander at one point. Like, uh, we were a com well, I mean, we could lead this flank, but I think we were a commander in our lieges armies, but I don't know if we still are, or whether that was in a different timeline. Um, any of these? Oh, this one has a lot of money. We'll grab onto Wraith Town. Get as much as we can. We can see the surrounding provinces, so we should be able to grab uh, just a little bit there. Yeah, we have more troops than they do, so we can actually survive a little bit sieging. Uh, down of Deep Dens of... Uh, Deep Den's Peasant Revolt has loaded the Peasant's Revolt for Deep Den. We're going to get out of here as quickly as we can. There we go. We're out of there. How much money do we have? 
42 ducats. Um, let's head back. Let's head back uh, to the our home here. Why are we, uh, like, why are we independent? We're under Lord Reaver Vicar and a Pike. I have no idea why we're independent. We shouldn't be independent. We should be underneath the Iron Isles. Oh, okay. Interesting. Our lease is independent. We'll see what he uh, does with that. Like, um, I wonder how that's going to go. How's Aegon's conquest going? It is going fine. He's winning the Stormlander War. He's winning the Sharp Point War. And he's winning the Ferret War. Cool. Just kind of... We're going to keep things slow until Aegon's conquest is done. There are a lot of things that can break it. But it looks a bit like the event chain. So we're just going to get rid of the stuff that we can actually get rid of. Get rid of those boats. And what else? Now we have a lot of money. We could possibly go on a reaving if we wanted to. Uh, no, we can't. Is not a commander. Oh, because we're still a commander of this army. Uh, resign. In fact, we're going to get rid of that army entirely because we don't need those uh, events one troops. We're going to go on a reaving. As we went on previously, but we didn't actually. Uh, might, we didn't properly go on one. Uh, and now I believe, if I was remember right, these are the the disputed lands. So I think that's where we're going to go. Right. Let's see how it goes. See what reaving events we get. See if we can uh, get a little bit of pride, some glory, some money. Men are ready, the long ships prepared. We na now we begin our journey across the narrow sea to pay the iron price. This will be most profitable. My liege, peace be with you. I have been appointed as your regent. Meredith Lynn. Okay. Looks like uh, Agor has also come with us. Because it invites all the ironborn in your court. So I assume that he has come and that's about it. Everything seems fine. Yep. Ironborn longships cut through the water swift and sure. Hence we have successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. If we were to attack and pay our iron price for their cargo, we would gain much and more. Let's do it. But they were uh, too well armed for us to take their gold. They utilized their warships to good effect, not allowing us to board their merchant vessels. We lost a few men, but we should be able to take back our iron price. Hmm. Not happy about that. Let's try again. And we failed on the next one. Hmm, that's not good. Lord Raylor, the lawgiver, accepted King Aegon of Westeros' peace offer. So his sharp point is now under King Aegon. Good. A scout has spied a coastal fishing village. He says there is much plunder and many women to be found there. Let the reaving begin. Right, uh, I'm just looking at Aegon's wars. 31%, 2%. Yeah, so he's focusing on the Stormlands now. The fight was hard fought and a few of our men were lost, but none can withstand the might of the Ironborn and we have claimed our iron price today, winning our plunder from those weak people. A successful raid. Oh, well done. We get some pa prestige, some piety, some gold, and people like us more. Perfect. Lots of gold. The Reaving Party has been roving the coast, but a local patrol has spotted us and is attacking. Being Ironborn, we shall of course meet this challenge, but the leader of their band stands before me with but one thought to kill me. Well, obviously we're going to charge. We're going to fight him. Here we got Olo of Nymelor. In the midst of battle, you and Olo circle each other, tense and focused. The raging scene around you seems to slow down as you scan him for any sign of weakness. Any opening in his defense you could possibly exploit. So he is a trained fighter, as are we. We're a little bit stronger than him. Let's go for might. Use your great range of your sword to great effect. Olo cannot get close enough to strike. Eventually you see a weak spot, bringing in your weapon down from a great height upon him. You break for his guard, knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet completely at your mercy. It's all over now. But, as we strike, he rolls to the side. He does take a wound, though. He faced us. He's struggling with a wound. Um, His wound leaves him weak and pitiful. We use a great range again. Break for his defense. He drops, up, he drops his weapon. Throws up his hands. I yield, I yield. Let's uh, slay him. Olo lies crumpled at the ground, lifeless. You wipe his blood from your weapon. The deed is done. He is dead. Valor Morgulis. We are prestige. The fight is over. Olo lies defeated. You have won. Victory is mine. Fantastic. That was uh, exciting. Just uh, keeping a close eye on Aegon the whole time here. Okay, the rock accepted a peace offer. It's another peace offer. A scout has spied a coastal fishing village. He says there is much plunder and many women to be found here. Let the reaving begin. The men who so were more hardy than we thought. The 
before and managed to make a beachhead, but we fought back. We have failed to claim our iron price today. Yeah, we lose some prestige and some piety. It's not that big a deal. Uh, Lord Haran the Black has created the High Lordship of the Seastone Isles. Okay. After a hard day's reaving, the men are having many a strong drink after we rest at anchor. Another reaver is bragging of the many men he has killed this day and how he's the boldest of the Ironborn here. My companions think I should challenge him to a finger dance to prove otherwise. Let's challenge Aegir to a finger dance. Uh, Aegir Rivers accepted my challenge to a finger dance and must surely regret it. The axes flew back and forth whilst I moved with grace and conviction, catching and dodging every blade that flew my way. Yeah, you know, too much for Aegir. He had a panicked look throughout and eventually submitted after losing a few fingers. Okay, it doesn't look like anything too bad happened to us, uh, but it looks like Aegir became wounded. The men were enjoying many a hard drink after a good day's reaving when Urus Serpentail challenged Aegir Rivers, who was boasting of his reaving exploits, to finger dance. Urus was literally the better of the two. He caught and dodged the axis most ably. Aegir eventually submitted. Yes. We get that, I think, because um, we have a special interest. Sura died of something. Missed it. Lots of people are just creating factions and things because there are new rulers. How's Aegon's conquest uh, going right now? Oh, we spotted a small coastal fish, uh, fishing village. Let's see how that goes as well. Aegon is uh, not doing so well, actually. Interesting. And uh, the men who saw were more hardy than we thought, and we lose some piety and prestige. A daughter was born to Ricaro and Barbary named Lavake. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. That uh, somebody won a siege. That's not us. I think that was um, the Stormlands won a siege. Uh, a scout has spied a coastal fishing village. He says there's much plunder, many women to be found here. Well, let's see how it goes. But they were more hardy than we thought. During the attack, during the attack by our reavers, I was grievously injured, but not before I hacked many men to pieces. I'm still fit to pillage. So we gain the trait main. We gain the trait maimed and lose reaving and gain craven. Well, we're going to keep going. We'll be maimed. That's fine. Uh, it's not so good in terms of our health. Like It does hurt quite a lot. But that's fine. We'll keep reaving. We'll keep going. That's another coastal fishing village. Um, the fight was hard and a few of our men were lost, but none can withstand the might of the Ironborn. Yes, fantastic. Yeah, there's some uh, inheritance law changes going on in the north. Not really a problem. Aegon's wars. Oh, are very much in favour of Aegon now. He must have won a good battle. Yes. Hopefully these uh, don't bug out and completely break. They should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, the reaving had come to an end. We had returned from across the seas by abiding the old way of reaving and pillaging like true iron. Where we gained much respect for our daring and ambition. Yeah, cool. We got, uh, we came out of that with exactly the same amount of money as we had before, but our prestige went up, which is, you know, half the battle. Torrent Stark bought a favor. Cool. Cool. I think that this is going to be a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, tell me what you think about the new system. Tomorrow's episode will be the first one where we're going to add in a couple of people, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time.